There's some bananas there that I got. This is about how ripe I like them. They can even go like a little bit longer, even one more day. But I need some for tomorrow. So you can see they're browning, they're all yellow. You can see no green on them. These other ones out here, you can tell, you can tell already they're like green, right? See green, green, green. This papaya is not soft yet, so I'm gonna give those another day. Like one more day out there should be good, and those will ripe up real, real nice. I've just got my headphones in. I'm gonna try to set this up so you guys can see. Fuck, I don't even know if you can see or if it's gonna work. Yeah, we'll do it this way. Let me see if I can see. Yeah, that should do it. I'm just gonna crank out uh, some bananas and throw them in the freezer and show you guys how it's done. I just put the trash in the sink till it's done. You're gonna make a mess. Give us a shit. Clean it up when you're done. I wash these off just in water like this, every bath. Just to get like flies and any bugs or whatever out of them. You don't necessarily have to do that, but if you're peeling them all the time, you get that stuff on your hands, and then it's gonna get off the clean bananas that go into the, I mean, if you're weird like that, if you're not, you get the shit. But yeah, I just throw music on. I try to break them into two or three pieces and make it easier on the blender. I met this gal the other night that said that she learned how to peel bananas from the bottom at a professional banana peeling place, like in some different country. And also, great apes peel their bananas from the bottom. So, I started trying it. It's like this one's got some brown on the end, so I'm just going to tear just that off. That's all totally cool. I'll eat that. It's like super sloppy and mushy or black or crazy brown. Just take that shit off. I'm by myself, so I just pump music, you know. Did my yoga this morning, did my run again, just like always. Someone said, yeah, taking a break on running is probably good, so I might pick um, like one out of seven days, take a break. Today, um, the neighbor downstairs had a dental appointment, and uh, he's got a little dog, Chloe. She's not super tiny, but she's, you know, kind of smaller than a mid-sized dog. And uh, I didn't know that, I mean, any dog can run, and they absolutely love it, and they can roll, but she told me at about a mile and a half that oops. she told me at about a mile and a half that she was done so i got her in the shade got her some water got her home so this run today was short it's only two miles a little over two miles but yesterday's was good i did over six miles and uh my times are just uh, I'm beating my times every single week. I'm feeling better. There are days I feel like shit, but literally drinking that water, like, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm probably doing seven liters, eight liters a day down here because it's hot. Just got done raining, so it's a little bit cooler right now. This is the middle of the rainy season, so all the farmers count on this water and uh, all the cistern systems that they fill up so they can use water down the road if it starts to go dry, which it will, coming up here in the winter time, your winter time, their summer time. I just put a Ziploc bag, I even, uh, I'm a weirdo, I reuse my Ziploc bags, they're expensive down here. I just fill them up with a couple cups of uh, this water right here. 
zip them, shake them, and uh, let them dry on the rack upside down. Throw them back in the freezer. And they're sitting up there waiting for more bananas or fruit or whatever I find. This kind of helps form it. Once it gets up to the top, you can pull it out and it'll spread out a little bit and then you can fit a lot more in there. Yeah, man, this is all you need, literally. Just bananas is all I eat after I've done my yoga and my run. It's usually around 10.30 to noon. Somewhere in there, I'm eating this entire thing completely full of just frozen bananas and fresh water, blended, that's it. Take as long as you want to drink it down. If it gets brown as you're drinking it slowly, that's from the blending. You're adding air into the system. Doesn't mean it's gone bad or anything. If you pulse when you blend it, little trick, it'll keep it looking fresher, more white, banana-y color instead of going brown fast while it's sitting there in your cups. So just do pulse. It's like this one's really gross. I'm only gonna keep that much of it. That's good. Try to get a little air out. I just pop those suckers in the freezer, just like that. I'll take you with me probably now. Show you how uh Definitely a bachelor's, bachelor's fridge. One club soda, salad dressing. Those are really shitty marijuana seeds that I toast and put on my salads because my neighbor doesn't like them. And they're all over in the weed here. A um, Little bit of pasta, a couple tortillas you cook on the oven. Lettuce for a nice big salad tonight. I forget what these are called. I think they're just a leche fruit. But when you break them open, that's what I was talking about earlier. See that? Can I suck on them? They got like a pit in the middle but they're so good and sweet. Those are delicious. Uh, onions and limes. Limes for the smoothie in the morning. I put a little lime juice in it. Onions I do and carrot I do with my uh, pasta. I also put it in my white rice. I do have uh, milk in here, which is not mine. That is for a stray cat that I have uh, that sleeps outside from my front door. And he takes care of, I'm sure any mice or cockroaches or anything. I haven't seen any bugs in my apartment at all. And uh, those mosquitoes have been pretty good. This is a weakness of mine. These are the strawberry wafers. I just have a couple a day when I'm feeling like a little drag or I need a little treat. This is the same thing. It's a straight up hard candy sugar. I don't see anything wrong with sugar at all. Your body runs off glucose. Uh, everybody else's ideas about it, I think are fucking insane. These are just uh, plantain chips. It's actually like uh, plantains, like a banana, but different, harder, firmer. They fry them up. So then I can use plantains and make like some hummus later or black bean hummus. I got the, uh, it's just normal spaghetti sauce. It's pretty expensive here. I definitely should start buying my own ingredients and stop buying this garbage and make my own. Just been a little bit lazy lately with working out hard. I love these little hot peanuts for a snack and popcorn. Every once in a while I'll have a bag of popcorn. These are just red beans in a bag. Already pureed. Cheap. It's a nice little uh Nice little dinner snack or something if add to dinner, tortillas. You can tell I love hot sauce. 
This right here, I've had since I've been sober. It's, it's not open. Uh, I don't have a lot of people up here at my house, but that's for guests. If they want it, they can have it. Um, this is like salt, pepper, spices. And then I got my little bit of money under here so I can refill my uh, water bottles. Like this one's getting pretty empty. And I got an empty one under there and then another full one there because water is the one thing that I go through the most. I don't drink Coke, I don't drink anything, just water and natural fruit juice or fruit blended. Uh, so that's about it. I'm gonna throw uh, all that crap away in the garbage and uh, it's as easy as that. Wait for those uh, bananas to freeze, fill up your blender all the way to the top with them, fill the blender up close to the top with water, put the cap on, pulse that thing. When it looks like uh, it's just getting chunky enough and everything's got kind of it broken up, go ahead and hit it, spin it till it's smooth. I'm telling you, man, it gives you so much energy. It makes your muscles recover so much quicker than anything that you could possibly put in your bottle, body at all. So if you're working out or exercising, especially doing cardio or God, anything, it just sits there and just burns fat. If you noticed, everything that I'm eating is fat free. So. If you starve your body of fat and you only eat carbohydrates, then your body only has fat to burn for energy after it's done burning the sugar, which two hours a day of working out burns a shit ton of that off. So I don't see anything wrong with sugar, but again, I'm a weirdo and everybody's going to say that I'm fucking against the doctors and I'm saying the opposite of the doctors mm -hmm. and I am because they're fucking lying to you. Anything the doctors say or anybody related to that same group, they're all lying to you. It's not like I don't believe in medicine. I don't believe in, I'm not an anti-vaxxer, but what we have right now is not a vaccine. We've never injected anybody with mRNA or spike protein. We have no idea what it does. And uh, it's uh, a vaccine. The definition is something that prevents you from having the virus. Now you have what, three, four shots? And it's, you still get the virus? Not a vaccine, guys. I don't know many, how many more clues you guys need to wake up, but uh, America's getting ready for a big change. Uh, I know it for sure. I can feel it like, a, like, like the cat that I have out front where hair stands on his back when, when a storm hits. It was a pretty good storm, heavy, heavy rain, but uh, only lasted for about an hour. Like I said, I'm gonna clean up, but that's how you do banana smoothie, guys. Uh, the rest of it's up to you. Take what you want, leave what you want. I don't care, your, your life. Just uh, see what you can do to help yourself and help others, and you know that's what I'm finding is uh, giving me the, the most peace in my life, and I think that's what everyone's striving for. Peace and love. So I think we're getting closer to that. I don't think there's a lot to fear. We're gonna go through, through some hard times, but Stay strong, have faith. All right, I love you. Talk to you guys soon, bye.